How's it going guys? Today I've come to the yard and I've brought with me my new 40 volt Makita blower to compare to my 36 volt blower that I've had for about two years or so. This one's going to be donated to my old man, he quite, seems to quite like it and um, I'm slowly upgrading fully to 40 volts so seen uh, tool, tools and stuff, posted a video yesterday, um, the new review as well, re reviewing it against the 18 volt version of this blower. I'm just going to throw this one in the mix as well alongside um, the runtime tests just to show you that. Obviously this is uh, a lot less powerful, it's just kind of for cleaning off drop saws, table saws, things like that. Like, you're not going to be cleaning off a whole job site with this, it'll take you ages. So this is awesome for cleaning clean little things out, tools and things, but um, coming to the real stuff today is the main topic. So a quick couple things first off. The weight um, is very similar between the two. Keep in mind this only has one battery, so the skin only for the 40 volt is about 3.1 kgs versus 2.8 in the 36 volt. By the time we've thrown both batteries in, two 5 amps and a 4 amp 40 volt battery, we're looking at 4.03 kgs and 4.1, so it's pretty even really. Um, a slight difference on the nozzle size, we've got a total of 85 millimeter internal di um, diameter on this 40 volt versus 70 mil here, so we've got a little bit more um, volume potential there, and that speaks for itself in the um, volume rating for either tool. So the 40 volt runs at 16 cubic meters of uh, air volume per minute, and the 36 volt runs at 13.4 meters um, cubed per minute. So quite a big jump, and we've got 230 kilometer an hour um, power here versus only 193 kilometers. So a little bit of difference. Uh, both tools have variable speed. The 36 volt has a little trigger there on the top of the handle that goes up to six. So you've got six speed settings. And then you've also got a little button on the side so you can lock in, so you can lock in the handle and have fingerless kind of cruise control. So that button's really handy if you're using it non-stop. They've slightly changed the system on the 40 volt. They've put this little kind of switch thing in here. You push it up with your thumb. That's called the cruise control lever. So you've got a few different modes there. Um, but also the variable control um, trigger speed as well with the turbo um, if you do that final click. So I'm going to jump outside today, have a little bit more space to run this review and um, not annoy my neighbours with all the noise from these things as they are quite noisy. So see how we go. So <clears throat> I've got them set up here outside on a te concrete um, test mould that we've poured. It's going to leave them out here. Um, I'm going to have to tape the 18 volt version's um, trigger as it doesn't have a cruise control or lock on the handle. I've got two fully charged 5 amps on the, on the 36 volt, a fully charged 5 amp on the 18 and a fully charged 4 amp on the 40 volt. So the rim interesting to see what happens. Um, I'm going to plop my phone and bring you guys in a little bit closer to see the, the time on my phone running through. Um, so yeah, enjoy, we'll, we'll zoom this through and do it fast and then I'll do a next kind of blowing things around the yard um, comparison. Okay, 
have to come back with a um, post the times up on the screen next to me here. I think the 36 volt came in around the kind of nine minute mark and it was I think 12 minutes for the 40 volt which is quite a decent difference especially um, being a more powerful blower so I'm pretty impressed with that and then obviously I just skipped, um, skipped to the 30 minute mark for this one. Um, it still has two bars of battery left, it didn't die. These things go forever. Um, obviously a lot less volume going through them. So I'm gonna go over that side of the yard now and chuck in some new batteries again, um, as these ones are fully dead, and try to blow things around and just give it an overall kind of um, performance test. And yeah, a bit of a comparison again, so away we go. I've just got the little uh, Makita router trimmer box, chuck it on the ground down there. I'm just gonna tilt you guys down a touch. So you can see, this one's probably going to struggle a little bit, but um, let's see how we go. Yeah. Pretty average, doesn't really send it very far per blow. Yeah, we'll go to 36 volt. See, so it's going to send it quite away, straight away, off the bat here. Test. We'll just go a 40 volt quick go before I bump up the size of the box to the um, pumping drill. Starting with a 40 volt again, I'm not going to worry about the 18 volt. Um, obviously, it's going to get a two bigger ones. So, full power, turbo mode. <laughs> strong powerful blowers but as you can tell from that little kind of test um, it's quite tricky to get a, an accurate even um, uh, test there because depending on how close I get the blower to the box when, and how I had it square on and that kind of stuff so um, definitely more powerful and I think a little more quiet I'll compare the noise now so that's the noise. Definitely a slight amount uh, louder um, so yeah really stoked with uh, the 40 volt I think the extra little bit of runtime over the 36 volt is an awesome thing um, coming with the extra power as well so props to Makita for this cool tool dad's lucky enough to score this he's gonna keep them in the back of his truck and um, yeah so lucky he's got a tool, tool addict as a son keeps, keeps his truck looking good <laughs> out of my way to buy the 40 volt over the 36 volt if you already had it personally but if you're changing over to 40 volt that's a good way to go so hope you enjoyed the video um, subscribe to see more content coming up soon i've got a few more uh, 40 volt tools to review still and uh yeah thanks for watching